Hi there, this is Andrea Mowry of Drea Renee Knits, and today we are gonna be practicing some two-color brioche worked flat. This tutorial is for my English style knitters, also known as throwers, basically those of you that hold your working yarn over in your right hand. If you are a continental knitter, you can go check out my video for continental knitters on the same topic. All right, so if you're going to be working along with me during this tutorial, you'll want to cast on an odd number of stitches. I went with 15 just because it's a pretty doable amount to get some practice on. So if you need to cast on, go ahead and press pause and then meet me back here when you're ready. So when working brioche, we are initially going to have what's called a setup row. And so I've cast on my 15 stitches, and for this first row, I'm going to simply knit that edge stitch. And here comes the fun part, setting up the brioche. So in brioche, you are going to have a movement that is called a slip one yarn over. The really important thing to remember about this movement is that you need to bring your yarn forward in front of your needle tip before you do it. Because of this, I've actually started writing in my patterns on the knit rows a YF before the slip one yarn over, which looks like SL1YO, to help remind, especially my English knitters, because it can be really easy to forget and to want to slip your stitch first before bringing your yarn forward. All right, so we've knit our edge stitch. We have brought our yarn to the front between our two needles. So it's just hanging out right here over in front of our right hand needle. And now we are going to slip one. Now, to do the yarn over, you really just bring the yarn back. The yarn over is actually created as you then knit the next stitch. Do you see how now there's this cute little yarn over right here? So what you wanna take care not to do, especially as an English style knitter, is again, so we've just done a knit one, yarn forward, slip one yarn over, knit one. We need to bring our yarn forward again, slip one, and what you don't wanna do is yarn over like this because now our yarn's back in front, but we need to knit a stitch. So if we knit a stitch when our yarn's in front, we are gonna accidentally double wrap that yarn over. So if you've ever tried brioche before and end up with extra strands or or really loose brioche, that might be what's going on. So just let your yarn hang out um, right here. And again, as you knit the next stitch, it goes over the top of your needle and that yarn over is magically created for you. So yarn forward, slip one, Yarn over is created as I knit the next stitch. Yarn forward, slip one. Yarn over is created as I knit the next stitch. Yarn forward, slip one. Again, the thing to remember here is just always allowing that yarn to go over the top of your needle. Don't be tempted to wrap it around the base of that stitch to get it to the back to knit because instead of having your cute little honeys hugging up on each other, it'll be down here at the feet. So we just wanna make sure to take that yarn over the top of the needle, knit one. Yarn forward, slip one. Yarn over is created as we now knit one. Yarn forward, slip one. Yarn over is created as we knit one. So as you can see, brioche is a two stitch repeat. Every other stitch, we slip and give it a little yarn over honey. And then the other stitch, we're either gonna knit or purl. And that is how we set it up. Now, the thing with two color brioche is we actually work every row twice before turning. So now instead of turning your work, just hold on to those stitches and slide your needle back through. You know you've done this correctly if your color you started with, that yarn is hanging from the cord, okay? Your ball should be hanging from the cord of your knitting needle. 
All right, now we're ready to add in our contrast color. So for this little practice swatch, we aren't gonna worry about working the edge stitch with our contrast color. You can just go ahead and slip it out of the way. So I just took it from my left hand needle and slipped it over to my right. All right, so as you can see, the first stitch we come upon is this little couple. That was our original slip one yarn over. And we are now gonna purl, otherwise known as brioche purl, these two strands together. So these are counted as one stitch, even though they're two strands. And so I inserted my needle into both of them as if to purl. And then I just take my new color and slide a loop of yarn on and I just purl it in. So some knitters are tempted to call this a purl two together. I split my yarn, so I'm just fixing it quick. Um, the thing is, is that even though you see two strands of yarn in brioche, that's still considered one stitch. So if it makes sense for you and your brain to call it a purl two together, that's fine. I just urge you to call it a brioche purl two together so that when you start seeing this written out in patterns, you can more easily get used to that language. All right, so now you're gonna see we've got a single stitch, double stitch, single, double, single, double. So every single stitch needs a honey. So we slip it, again, our yarn's in front, we slip it, and now because we're purling on this row, we do actually need to complete that yarn over. So we wrap our yarn around and bring it back to the front. So that is our slip one yarn over. And now we brioche purl these two together. So what once was two, we work together to turn them into one strand. And the one stranders, we slip and give them a little yarn over hug to turn them into double stranders. Now, once you've added your second color from here on out, your double stranders, or what I like to call my couples, will forever be contrast colors once you have this one added. So it should always be one strand of main color, one strand of contrast color. All right, so let's brioche pearl. and then slip one, yarn over. Brioche purl, slip one, yarn over. Brioche purl, slip one, yarn over. Brioche purl, slip one, yarn over, brioche purl. Now, as I said, we aren't gonna work our edge stitches with our contrast color, so go ahead and drop your contrast color to the front. This is important, don't be tempted to take it back here. It needs to be on this side of your work. So go ahead and drop it to the front and just slip that last stitch over. And now we're ready to turn. All right, so now we are on what would be considered the wrong side of the work. And we are going to begin, we're always gonna start every row with our main color. So for me, it's this really pale gray from Lola Bean Yarn Co. And my blue here is from North Light Fibers. All right, so let's, I almost went to Continental, I caught myself, okay. So for our edge stitch, we're just gonna purl it. We're just keeping these edge stitches in stockinette, nothing fancy. And then think of them as the frames and then the brioche is happening between the first and last stitch. So we're actually gonna do on this row exactly what we just did on the last row of our with our contrast color. So we are going to slip one yarn over brioche pearl, these two strands together. Slip one, yarn over, brioche pearl. Oops, lost my yarn there. There we go. Slip one, 
yarn over, brioche purl. Slip one, yarn over, brioche purl. Slip one, yarn over, brioche purl. Slip one, yarn over, brioche purl. Slip one, yarn over, brioche purl. I'm sorry, that's just a purl. <laughs> I just really got into my rhythm there. That is just a purl at the edge. All right, so again, we need to slide back to the beginning. You always know your need to slide your work when your two yarn strands that are still connected to your yarn balls are separate from each other. So when they're separate, you slide. Okay, so now we are going to be brioche knitting with our contrast color. We're slip our edge stitch out of the way because we're not gonna work it with our blue yarn. And now we have our couple right here and we are going to brioche knit them together. Now we have a single one, so we bring our yarn forward, slip one, and then as we brioche knit our next couple, we bring our yarn up over the top of the needle to do that, and it creates our yarn over for us. Yarn forward, slip one, and then our yarn over will be created as we bark one or brioche knit one. Yarn forward, slip one yarn over, which is created when we brioche knit. Yarn forward, slip one, yarn over is created as we brioche knit. Yarn forward, slip one, Yarn over is created as we brioche knit. Yarn forward, slip one. Bring that right over the top of the needle for the yarn over and brioche knit. And again, we're not gonna work that final stitch with our blue yarn, so we just go ahead and slip it over and we drop that blue yarn to the back where it naturally wants to fall. Now, when you are working two color brioche flat, you know it is time to turn when your two ball yarns are together. So together, turn. So we're gonna turn our work. And now we are back to the right side of our work. So this will be the final row of demonstration because after this you will have tried everything to keep your brioche going when we're just working straight two color brioche. So I'm back to using my main color I'm going to knit my edge stitch and then I have a single guy here so I'm going to bring my yarn forward. I slip one and as I brioche knit this couple I bring my yarn over the top of my needle to knit and it creates my yarn over for me. So from here on out I'm still just going to call it a slip one yarn over. So yarn forward, slip one yarn over, brioche knit. 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 Yarn forward, slip one yarn over, and then knit the last stitch. As you can see, our working yarns are on separate sides of our swatch, so we are now going to slide so we can use our contrast color. Just gonna get that yarn cake out of the way. Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and slip my edge stitch since I am not working it in my contrast color. And this is a purl row. So I'm going to start by brioche purling. These two strands is one. And then I need to slip one, yarn over, brioche purl. Slip one, 
Yarn Over Brioche Pearl. Slip one, yarn over, 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 brioche pearl. Drop my yarn to the front, slip my final stitch, and at this point with my yarns together I would turn my work. But that is it. You can see our little brioche babies growing up. Here is the right side, which brioche is reversible, but this side shows my main color as dominant as the knit rows. And then if I flip it, this side now shows the blue color is dominant with its knit rows. So I hope that this has given you a little confidence boost to try brioche on your own. Happy knitting.